Paul, another huge three points. What are your reflections on today's win over Wigan? Yeah, the three points, we've got them. Delighted with that. But um, I think the performance really pleased me, how we, how we started and, and attacked the game. And yeah, the only thing missing was, was more goals. Um, so yeah, we performance-wise, which is the bit we can really control, how we approach the game was good. Some of the football we played was really good. Some of the chances we created were great and we just didn't manage to get, you know, um, we, the extra goals. We could have had another two minimum before half-time, which would have made the game, yeah, a hell of a lot different. But we've done the job, we've got the points. You'll be very pleased with the winner. Some great work from James McAtee and our poachers finish from Illumin in Jai this time. Yeah, and, he, and in, we're pushing him on that. He needs to be in there more. Um, been critical of him in the last few weeks about that. Um, so, yeah, I think you can see with mine and Jack's reaction to how he scored, the type of goal, where he scored from that. Yeah, it's, in, it's an important goal for him when, we, when we're talking about the messages and where he needs to improve and how he can get better. Um, it's great that he's managed to get his goal in there. You mentioned the other opportunities. I mean, Billy Sharp, I mean, how close he was to getting that elusive 250th league goal today. Yeah, I think the, the one first half, really good play. Um, great contact. That's what he's very good at, just getting the right contact to, to direct things in the goal. And I don't know how much Ben knew of the save, but it looked a spectacular save. And then, obviously, Bill had one second half as well ahead of it. He couldn't quite loop over the goalkeeper. So, yeah, could have easily come off with a, with another two goals today. But said it, that was the story. We had um, a lot of chances, a lot of efforts, uh, a lot of ball in around their box. And we just couldn't go on and, uh, and get the goal. Um, but we got enough. We, we got the one. We kept a clean sheet. And... Uh, yeah, it strengthened his position. And maybe the possibility of a penalty? Did you get a look at the challenge on John I've Fleck? I've not seen it, but it looked it to me from the side and, and Fleck, he says he was definitely pulled back, so if that's the case, it should be a penalty. How pleased were you with the game management, especially in the last 10 minutes or so? Yeah, good. Listen, we, we were trying to score the goals, we, uh, but we still kept passing the ball, which is the main thing. If we've got the ball, then it's fine. Um, one thing, Wigan and fair play to them, when we were attacking and we were constantly getting an L out down the right, we were just leaving a forward in that channel to try and counter. So it was a little bit of cat and mouse, but we wanted to get the second goal. That was what was going to win us the game. Put a lot of trust in Eags and Rob Bowen, one of the midfielders, to, to see that out. And, uh, and like I said, we, we did it. So loads of things that were good. Like strong, real strong performance with some uh, hell of a lot of quality in there. Um, yeah, but being greedy, we would have loved more goals. Of course, looking after yourself, number one priority, but it must be a nice position now to have done the job and it's kind of over to the other teams now, kicking off later yeah, in the day. we've put ourselves in a position where all, that's what we have to do, so if we're constantly looking elsewhere or worried about things elsewhere, we're not giving the utmost attention to what we're doing and um, that's what we need to do, so how we prepare, how we play and then how we recover and on for the next game, that's got to be our focus because, you know, with all the work we've done over the season, we've put ourselves in this position and... Um, we know we're going to be have, to have to be at our best to, to see the job through. And looking ahead now to Burnley, uh, Max Lowe was missing today. What are the chance of him being back for that one? Yeah, he should be back. We've, um, like I say, just not been training, been vomiting. It's not an injury, it's an illness. So once you're over it, you're over it, aren't you? Get some food down his neck and, and get his energy levels back up. Um, and we'll get him ready for to be involved on Monday. And the possibility of anyone who wasn't in the match day squad today being involved on Monday, is there any chance? No, no, Jebo will be back training next week at some point, but um, he'll not be in the squad for Monday. But just a little aside, nice though to bring someone into your squad with the quality of Kieran Clark, who's not been involved in recent weeks, come onto your bench. Yeah, well, he's been fit and available now and training for, for consecutive days, and it's not, a, it's not a reflection on Kieran that he's not on the bench. You know, he's ready to play, and I'd put him straight in. Excuse me, no problem, I'd just I like to have as many attacking options as I can on the bench um, and in recent weeks that's been a, a wing back as cover for wing back it's been bashed for his versatility and then four players further up the field um, and, and that's just all that is you know it's not a reflection like I said on the Kieran he was arguably our best player before he got injured in the few games but um, the story of the season for himself and Rob has been one's been in performing well he's had to be patient and, and bide the time and that's where he finds himself now and I imagine with games so close together, it's all about the rest and recovery now before Burnley, is it? Yeah, yeah. So we, I don't know if you've seen, we've got a training session going off on the pitch now for the boys because we feel like we can get a lot more work into them now um, rather than two days prior to, to Monday, tomorrow. So we're going to have a big training session today 
everyone will be light tomorrow and then we, we will prepare on Sunday. Um, because, like I said, there could be some of them boys starting on Monday night.